Reactions and counter-reactions have continued to troll since the ruling of the appeal court to discharge and acquit the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Namdi Kanu. The federal government, through the Minister of Justice and Attorney General of the Federation, said Kanu has other cases to answer. Hence, he was only discharged but not acquitted. In an exclusive interview with Asukwa Mendi Achibong, former presidential candidate in the 2019 election, an international attorney and good governance advocate, said, Look, your question about is uh, Namdi Kanu uh, free to go? He's free to go. He's been uh, discharged by the court for lack of jurisdiction. Simply put, the government, the court rather, is simply saying, we don't have the power over this individual, so we will not get to the merits of the case. Therefore, this individual must be released, and that individual is Namdi Kanu. What can the government actually um, do to preclude Namdi Kanu from being um, released? I, I really don't know what they can do. They can appeal, but if they appeal, um, there is really no stay of execution of the release of Namdi Kanu because his freedom is at stake here. The other thing they can do is just to act with impunity, uh, and that is to just generally refuse to release Namdi Kanu. Also, the special counsel to the leader of IPOP, Barrister Aloy Ejimako, criticized the Attorney General of the Federation, Abubakar Malami, for saying the federal government would initiate further charges against Kanu. Ejimako stated that it is unconstitutional for the federal government to bring up new charges against Nambi Kanu. No new charge can stick against Kanu because the present circumstance, the extraordinary rendition, is an abiding factor that has created a permanent barrier to his prosecution, at least for now. The judgment of the Court of Appeal has grandfathered a continuing lack of prosecutorial jurisdiction, which can only be overcome by a few things I am not at liberty to disclose here because it will amount to giving legal advice to the FG. Yet, before any further charge can have a toga of legality or constitutionality, Kanu has to be released first. Anything to the contrary will be purgatory. Justice Attorney General of the Federation, Malami, um, uh, speaking against the release of Namdi Kanu, that um, uh, he was uh, discharged, not acquitted. Of course he was discharged, not acquitted. There, there's been no uh, actual trial on the merits or demerits of the case here. The, but to the extent that he wants to bring up some other charges against Namdi Kanu, he will still run into the challenge of the jurisdiction of the court. Does the court have jurisdiction over this particular person? Simply because of the way that he was brought before the court. Uh, um, Namdi Kanu alleges he was uh, abducted, he was kidnapped, and he was tortured um, in Kenya and, and brought without proper legal process being uh, observed to Nigeria. And there has been no filing to controvert that in the, in the, in the court in Nigeria here. So the, the government is going to have that challenge of how it will bring Namdi Kanu before a court of co competent jurisdiction and be able to get to the merits of the trial of the case. As of today, the, I just don't see how they can do that. And it will be in the best interest of the development of jurisprudence and the best interest of the nation and the best interests of this administration and the people of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Recalling, the Court of Appeal had on Thursday evening discharged an acquitted Kanu of the terrorism charges leveled against him by the federal government. The three-judge panel in their ruling stated that Kanu was illegally extracted from Kenya, a process known internationally as extraordinary rendition, which rights as part defined as an abduction. As of the time of filing this report, it was gathered that Namdekanu is still in the custody of the Department of State Services.